welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the woman's exclusive Air Jordan 4 Shimmers. Let's take a quick sneak peek. another unboxing and review if you the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button we have so many amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store so if you want to add some shade gear to your closet be sure to head on over to that website after this video is over as mentioned earlier we're going to be discussing today the women's exclusive air Jordan 4 shimmer colorway. We're going to start off with the overview of this beautiful color scheme and then we're going to jump into size and fit followed by styling. Had so much fun styling this great color. Then we're going to talk about how these shoes are doing on the resale market. As you know, these were quite limited, more limited than I think most actually expected. All right, so let's jump into the overview. This is a beautiful, cool color scheme, a color that I don't have right now in my sneaker collection. This reminds me of the off-white sale but this is actually a nice alternative if you did take an L on those. So starting with the front, this is kind of a nice feeling Durabuck leather upper that we've got here, again, in that powder pink colorway. As we work our way up, we've got this nice white, white caging system over that matching um, mesh underneath in the pink color scheme. Then at the top of the tongue, we've got this nice soft nubuck, and then this really cool Jumpman logo that is supposed to kind of be the image of what a mirror is on women's kind of makeup palettes. Uh, I can't quite see my reflection in this, though. I'm a little blurry, but I do love the metallic silver. I think it really just pops off of this powder pink color scheme. So if you were wondering about lace swapping, they did give you an alternative lace. So this is an interesting color. It is kind of a pinkish purple tone in my opinion. I just don't know how I like it with the shimmer color scheme. I think I prefer the white over this, but I do love that they give you a secondary option. So if you're not feeling the white, you can add this secondary lace, which is more of a lavender tone. Let's take a look at those details and then we're gonna move on to the side panels. you'll notice that we've got some really cool transparent TPU wings on the side, more of that simplistic white caging system with the pink mesh underneath. Then we've got more of that leather that just wraps around to the back. And this is just a really kind of cool color scheme that we've got here. So this is the orange quartz. And then underneath that, we've got this brown eclipse that I think just really makes this kind of a monochromatic looking shoe. Working our way down to the bottom of the sneaker, we've got this nice clear air bubble here. It's white on the inside there. The shoe then has some white on the midsole and then is finished off with this really cool, again, orange quart on the bottom of the outsole. On the insole, we've got just a nice pink insole with a pop of white color scheme for that Jumpman logo on the back. Let's take a look at those final details.
All right, so moving on to size and fit. So again, this was a women's exclusive colorway. So for women's sizing, I am a size nine, which is equivalent to a men's size seven and a half. I would recommend just sticking true to size on this one. So I do have high arch narrow feet. Depending on what foot type you have, if you have flat, wider feet, this could differentiate a different size that may work better for you. All right, let's jump into styling. So again, this was just such a fun, refreshing color to add to some of my styling cues that I'm kind of transitioning into since it is almost fall here in New York. So for the first look, I decided to just wear some monochromatic colors. For the bottoms, I wore some simple beige denim pants and I wore some really just nice kind of vibrant pink socks that I think really played nicely with the color scheme of this shoe. For the top, I decided to layer. So I wore a nice knitted top underneath this tank actually that I'm wearing now. I layered that with a nice button down blush colored top. And then I layered on top of that a nice suede light tan coat. look I decided to switch it up and make it a little more comfier and athletic feel to it so there I decided to go with a just sweatshirt material dress and that was in a very similar color scheme to the shimmer so I thought that this played quite nicely with that sweater dress and also I decided to wrap around a nice blush button down top just to kind of give the waist a little uh, accentuation there I've been waiting too long I thought you would move on But I gotta say that you love with open arms For the last and final look, I decided to pair this with some leggings. These leggings were a mauve colorway. I think mauve would go perfectly with this. And then when I saw it in person, I think that it just worked perfectly with the shimmer color scheme. And then I paired that with a mauve waffle top just to kind of complete that monochromatic look. And then I wrapped a nice plaid shirt around that. And that also had some nice mauve color schemes that I think tied that look all together. I gotta say Let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style these shoes? Shorty, oh, you think you lit cause you ride around with all the hot sisters and fly mama seekers. Well, I ain't on your payroll, so let me shoot the shit. They ain't laughing with you, they all laughing at you. Cause you're that old and afraid of commitment. Everybody in the world know that ain't no G shit. Don't get mad at me, your life is kinda sad, B. Now this next jab is for my saints and aints. My Holy Ghost filled fire baptized believers. Stop looking down at me, I'm not an evil heathen. I'm 24 years old. And never sold my soul. I went yeah. to college to get yeah. more knowledge. knowledge. I up my pedigree by fixing my credit B. Yeah. I went across yeah. the stage and got my degree. I'm in the middle of my prom with a full time job. I stayed prayed up. Now later with a man that all my kids call Uncle Fred. I'm not on the front pew with my legs wide open. Trying to get a preacher a sip of my ocean. I might curse a bit, but that don't mean I'm not anointed, appointed, or chosen for this here time. I don't want what you got, I only want what's mine. Yeah. This right here is for you that crossed the line. All up in the club screaming, dip, she mighty fine. Walking up to me, trying to cop a feel. Whisper in my ear, talking about your million dollars. Nah, nah, nah. that's Captain. 
five, you got a million baby mamas. And Jazzy yeah. walked away cause she ain't even about the drama. Don't ever in your life try to put your hands on me. I know hood niggas in the trap that'll switch you like a Kit Kat to show up to your wake like who did like, that? Yeah. I have them throw you over the escalades and Broadway Junction for your sick escapades. How do you fix your crusty ass lips to say that a black woman ain't beautiful? Ow. Now what all that dirt built around your thick ass cuticle? Ow. Give a damn about whose box you keep listening when you don't even have one. Now let's conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market. So again, these were very limited, more limited than I think most actually expected. Not too much stock on the Seekers app. So for those of you wondering the retail price, these went for $190. And across the sizing range, these are all around the same price point of $270. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new here today, be sure to hit that subscribe. If you have not already, give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button. We have some amazing membership perks there as well as amazing merch store. That's it for this episode. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We will catch you all on the next episode.